Hey, Ronnie Dale, Four Wheeling Australia. It's now time for another review. The Crash Pad Swag, the one that I just busted out of, or crashed out of, I should say. I've had this swag now for a year, and I've been camping in it for about nine months because of COVID-19. We've kind of been stuck, you know, like everyone else. A bit isolated, but we're finally getting back out again and I figured it's now time to do a review. A lot of people have been asking for this, but as you know, I take my time to make sure that I actually put things through a good test. I'll go through all the bits that I think that you need to know about this swag to help you decide if this is for you. Full disclosure, as all of my review videos, number one, I never accept money for reviews. I I never set money for reviews. This particular swag here, I did not pay for. I approached Crashpad to test it out and that's what I've done over the past, well, nine months out of the 12 months because of COVID-19. So now you know, let's get into it. I've had this swag through all kinds of conditions, all conditions you could possibly think of, except for snow. I haven't been in snow. It's a bit hard to find snow in Australia, believe it or not. You can find it, but it's pretty hard. We've been in torrential rain. We've been in extreme temperatures, like up in the Kimberley leading up to wet season where it's been 40 degrees for nearly two weeks straight, hovering around the 40 degrees Celsius. Pretty damn hot. There were a few extra measures we had to take. So we're both in the crash pads, this one being mine. So a good trick we figured out was using a spray bottle. Kept me quite comfortable in there. I'm sleeping on top of a sleeping bag. But um, that's what you get for being up here in the lead up to wet season. Obviously to have a good sleep. Not to mention all the different environments. Beach sand, windy conditions, rain. Got a bit of a test last night with all the rain. Now, I didn't seal the swag before, before this trip because I actually picked up that swag on the way out of Perth. So I think it's sealed now. Um, yeah, but no water came inside. So I'll keep you posted on how we go with this. Mud, dirt, you name it, desert sand. This swag has been through all that over the past, well, nine months out of the 12 months. So with all these conditions and situations in mind, you're going to get a pretty good idea of how this swag actually held up. Let's talk about the swag itself. This is a single swag but it's a king size single swag now i don't actually think they make a smaller swag than this this is one meter from one end to the other so there's it's plenty of room you can easily fit a clothing bag in here down at the foot end and have yourself in here in fact i have stayed in this swag for about eight nights and nine days with my daughter we went on a tag along down south and i specifically for this review brought both our pillows in so these pillows, they're about half a metre long and they fit across the width here nice and easy. Now, I wouldn't say you've got a lot of room with an adult and a child in here, but there's enough. We got by by eight nights and eight days and I would easily do it again. So there's enough room for that situation. Two adults, however, you would need to look at a double swag. This king size single swag is not big enough for two adults. It's only good for one single adult or one adult and a very small child, that's it. In terms of packing up, it packs up quite small, I gotta say, for a swag this size, which is another bonus. It has a 50 mil mattress, which I'll get back to in a sec, but with the 50 mil mattress and two sleeping bags in this swag, I'm able to roll this up and it'll still easily fit in that swag bag that comes with it. The bag that comes with this swag, and we're rhyming things now, bag and a swag, They've really thought about it. It's a legitimate, decent size to fit the swag back in. So one massive bonus there is the actual bag. It's also the same thickness canvas, which I may have already mentioned. Lengthwise, the swag is, I think it's 2.1 meters, but it's on the screen if I'm incorrect. And at either end, it has a big vent, a quite a big vent. These vents I always sleep with open. So when I'm in the swag, those vents are open. It doesn't matter how windy it is, how cold or how cold it is, those vents will be open to some degree to get some kind of air circulation going through. 
you can enter this swag from both sides. It has the exact same door on either side. When it's raining at night, this swag allows for overlap here. You can see there's a generous overlap here. One thing you do have to keep in mind, like all swags, if, you, if this is kind of loose and it's kind of folded up like that, if it's heavy downpour, rain will collect here. And when rain pulls on canvas, it's eventually going to work its way through it. There are two pockets up one end, or this end here. So I'm guessing that ends the head, right? When I use this swag, it doesn't matter which way the head end is. I never really use the pockets anyway. Things I like about this swag. It's one of the easiest swags I've ever had to set up. It is so easy to set up. Incredibly easy to set up. In fact, it takes me about four to five minutes to have this thing ready to go and I'm sleeping. Why did I choose this swag and why did it stand out to me? There are two reasons. I like the name, it's pretty cool. Crash pad. Also, the fact that you could get a black stealth canvas and a thick canvas. Those were the three main things that stood out. Now, it's gonna suit the rig, right? Not just that, this thick black canvas does not let any light enter this swag whatsoever. And that's what I like about it. Um, at home sometimes I will sleep with those blindfolds on because if there's street lights on or there's a full moon, I actually struggle to sleep. Being black, the swag itself, what does it mean when it's black? Well, like I said, the light finds it difficult to penetrate the swag. In fact, it doesn't come in at all, but it does get incredibly hot during the day. Now, you don't normally spend any time in your swag during the day, so it doesn't really matter. But if you want to sleep in in the morning, you can, but if it's a very hot day, you're going to want to open it up because this will heat up really fast because it's black. You can, of course, get this in other colors. I think there's beige, brown, and green. Black being the hottest one, obviously. And this just reminded me of a strong positive point to the color of the swag. And that is the fact that on a rainy day, or it's been raining all night, Next morning, you want to pack your swag up. But guess what? You have to wait till it dries. Well, reasonably dries, that is. With this black color, it dries incredibly fast compared to other swags in different colors. So that's another bonus with the black color. Even though black's not a color, it's a shade. There are three things I keep in my swag. Either a head torch or my little panda as a light, my phone and my knife. And of course my, my keys as well. Always sleep with my keys. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is there's a bit of a tip here that you guys can take away from this review video as well. Considering you keep all those things in your swag, do what I do. I pull my pillow out every single morning, although I can roll it up with the pillow in it, it's my tradition to pull the pillow out, put it into my vehicle. When I do this, I also check for keys, knife, head torch, and my phone. And the reason why I've developed this ritual is because the amount of times I've rolled up my swag and it's like, where's my phone? Oh, it's in the swag, I'll get it later. That's not too much of a problem, but what about your car keys? I've done that so many times, and I'm sure you, some of you have as well, once or twice. Frequent asked questions I get. What's the mattress like? It's a 50mm mattress, foam mattress, 
in this particular crash pad. I think it's really good, to be honest. I haven't felt the need to put another mattress on top of it, although most of the time I do sleep on top of another sleeping bag and then have my second sleeping bag on top of that, on top of me, I should say. So I do have a sleeping bag between me and the mattress, but it's more so instead of having a sheet or something in here. The mattress itself is good. Have I snapped a pole on this wag? I get asked that question a lot. Yes, I have snapped one pole, but you know what? Every single swag I've owned, I've snapped one or two, or some even three. And some poles I've snapped multiple times on a particular swag, I'm not gonna mention a brand. Now the problem I used to have was getting another pole. And in the past I've had to buy a new swag because I couldn't get the poles in time. That's why I'm up to swag number five now. This swag in particular, I was able to get a replacement pole straight away, locally as well. So it's not really much of an issue. And I've carried a spare one ever since as well, and I haven't broken one since anyway. So it's always when you have a spare one, nothing ever goes wrong. So yes, I have snapped the pole. How did I snap it? I'm not actually sure. I left my campsite to go for a wood run. Uh, it was on a tag along. My daughter was still around camp playing with other kids. When I came back, the pole was snapped. It could have been her, it could have been any of the kids, it could have just gone on its own. I don't actually know. The next question. Rain, have I had water inside this swag? I've had a very minute amount down in one corner and that was because where I camped on a beach, the water pulled down in one puddle, in like the low area. It was like actually over the swag, the water. So yes, if you camp in a puddle, you're gonna get a bit of water in it, but it was, it was really not much. There is a PVC bottom under the swag, so anything directly underneath you doesn't come in. This is the only time I've had water inside the swag, and I've slept in torrential downpour as well. So you just gotta be careful with any swag, really, where the puddles are going to be. Something I always seem to leave out and people really want in these reviews is the price point. What do I think of the price point? Well, personally, I think it's a very reasonable price point. These swags, they retail for, was it 395 or something? That's pretty good, considering you get a bag with it and the canvas is good quality and it's an Australian family-owned business. So I think that's actually a really reasonable price. Look, you can get cheaper swags out there, but you know, it's up to you guys. Do you want something that's gonna last or do you want something that you're not too sure about? For the extra 100 bucks or 150 bucks, you could probably get yourself pretty good swag. I guess we're now at the pointy end of the review. What is my final thoughts on this swag? Well, I'm gonna come right out here and say that this has taken my favorite swag spot. This is my favorite swag now because of the fact that you can get it black, it's easy to set up, it doesn't take up much room. Look, my previous favorite swag was a Rybuck Black Wolf, but this takes the cake now. There are some things on the Rybuck that were a little bit better than, than this in terms of setting up and it packed down really small, but it also blew away in the wind. This one doesn't blow away in the wind. This one keeps all the light out. This one you can zip up all the way on the side so you don't get wind up. You couldn't do that in the other one. So therefore, this takes my favorite spot to the point where is if my family and friends ask which swag I recommend, this will be the swag that I'll tell them as of 2020. So that is my honest review. Um, if you are looking at this swag, I hope I helped you out. I hope you, you know, help make up your mind if you did or if you didn't, especially with all the little details I've covered here. I guess the biggest question you may have, do you go for the King single, or do you go for the double swag? Thanks for watching. I've got to get out of here before it starts pissing down again. I want to roll this swag up while it's dry.